So I have this horrible smelling AC adapter here. It's from Alasis. And actually it's the third in a row um, that crept out on me in the last year, maybe two years. Um, they were all old and uh, two of these adapters uh, failed after they were exposed to, to a high, too high voltage at the outdoor festival and there was over 300 volts on the power line so well that explains it maybe a little bit why they failed but yesterday um, I had my studio turned on and um, I started smelling some well horrendous smell and I found out that this, this Alasis adapter which is just a transformer AC to AC uh, so there's no DC output it's from the MIDI verb and well it's probably nearing 30 years old uh, but I was wondering what happened and that's one question what happened uh, what would have happened if I wasn't there would it have caught fire maybe I'm not sure uh, is there a fuse doesn't seem like it because it, it, the, the, the plastic is even a little bit distorted. Yeah, I had to use some force to get it open. Um, but yeah, there, it's a little bit wavy because of the temperature that got inside. And another thing I have to do when, when I make a replacement. Uh, this is actually uh, like a stereo jack. But which is what? I uh, just want to... Uh, beep out uh, the connections on this transformer. Uh, do I uh, are these shorted together or whatever? Well, that's the one thing I will need to know. Um, it's outputting nine volts, and I have, I have a replacement over there, but I just have to make sure that yeah the connections match up. But first to look inside. I'm not really sure uh, how to measure these things, but well, you can s clearly see it's well for me it's clear that it got hot in here. Um, but I think if the resistance is too low on either of on this side, can you see this? Yes, it will get too hot, and the resistance reads well. It's an open line. That would mean nothing would happen. And I think this is the secondary side, is it? Yes. Ah, the smell is just terrible. This side measures. This is also zero ohm, so did it crap out on itself and did it stop? Point one, one point eight ohms. Well, it's all very low. But this is on the secondary side, and the primary side, why? That probably means that there is some sort of fuse in there that, that got blown. And I believe some of these transformers have to fuse inside, in, in the middle. So let's see what we can find. This is all new to me. It's clearly been uh, hot on this side. Yeah, it's even a bit. It's also pretty old, so yeah, is it just old or 
did it almost catch fire. Can you see that? That looks pretty charred. How do you see it? Yep. That got pretty hot. But did the secondary side also? Doesn't look like it. Even the secondary side burned away. So I hope uh, I didn't get 230 volts on my uh, MIDI fur. Is that possible? Yeah. If the primary and secondary side are connected internally, maybe it's just 230 down this connector. I want to see, uh, because this is a stereo jack, it doesn't make sense to me, but how are these? So the sleeve is not connected to either. The ring is not connected. Oh, boy. Ah, I think this part is still, this copper part is probably still coated. That's why we're not measuring any ohms. Let's try that again. Because if we measure it now. So the secondary side has an internal resistance of 1.5 ohms. That looks promising. But, now to see how this is connected. So the sleeve of the jack is connected to both sides. This side as well. And the tip as well. How on earth? Oh, of course, because internally yeah, makes sense because this is a closed loop. Stupid. So what I'm gonna do is open up the uh, MIDI verb and see what the inside connector looks like and how they're wired up. Uh, because if, if it's only uh, like a mono jack, then I would presume that you have the tip and the sleeve, but the sleeve connection can be here, right? Let's check that out. So here it is. It's barely fits on the screen. Mm, smells alright. And here's the power coming in, as you can see, it's a jack connector, but I can't tell from here if it's either uh, a mono or a stereo connector, and how they are wired up. You can see uh, the rectification here to make it DC, the capacitors to uh, even it out. Yeah, there's not much to it. I'm gonna open it up, uh, check the other side, because there is no way from here that I can tell. No, I have to uh, open this up. This is actually quite quite interesting. One of the leads. Th these are all. Well, it looks like they're shielded, but. 
<laughs> did they do this on the factory? With uh, tin foil and or is this an aftermarket thing? But this one definitely doesn't belong with the rest because it's all the way around. Interesting. I'm gonna replace this uh, little tape afterwards. Yeah, so let's see how we can get this thing out. I see one, two, three screws. And then we have to remove these at the back. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's much easier. Actually, after every live performance, I have to <laughs> reseat these screws because they uh, they vibrate out. And there's actually a few missing from the previous owner. Here we are. So yeah, that's interesting. There's three connections. Can you see this? This is the mini jack circuit. There's three connections. And there's even a bodge wire all the way to this side. And what is on this side? It looks like a cap. Is it the ground? I just want to make sure how to wire up the jack connector. Is it a freeway or a two-way? So let's see what we can find out connection-wise. So the bodge wire is that part of the ground? Yep. If I touch the plate uh, from the other side, there's the plate from here and the other side of the budge wire, that's ground. So this ground of this circuit, so um, probably the sleeve of the mini jack connectors connect it to this side so we probably have a few of these caps yes on the ground side this is not connected to ground neither is this does it do anything I wouldn't know okay well, the other two ah Can you see this? The two connections uh, are actually shorted together. But is there something? Can you tell? Yeah, there's actually a little bit of a trace in between. Is there? Yeah, there is.
so these two are connected together so how would that translate to this connector these two are connected and the sleeve is not so what would happen so would this work This should not be a short, and it's not. This is, but if we should also not be assured and it's not okay. okay this gives me confidence to use this connector uh, and lucky for me I have a, an AC adapter lying around with the interchangeable it's AC so polarity doesn't matter Let's measure it. Yeah, it's a transformer, so it's a little bit higher when it's not loaded, as far as I understand. Uh, but it's within really spec, I think. So. There's no power connector on this thing, so wish me luck. There it is. It works just fine. Yeah, that's nice. It's not getting hot. What we could do is um, measure the voltages. There, there's some transistors for power trainees, what do you call them? I wouldn't know. Underneath here, and we can check those voltages. I could even check uh, the power ripple to see if the caps are any good. And I could order some replacement if I want to. Because yeah, these being here for over. Oh, do we have a date code anywhere? Eighty six, maybe. Eighty seven, week forty four. So late eighties, maybe. Eighty seven. Yeah, looks like the late 80s so yeah that's around 30 years old and I believe caps like these have a lifetime of 15 years or so so 
So yeah, let's find the ground point. So this is a ground point. And I never know what leg to measure, but if we're careful, we can just poke around and see what we get. That's obviously 12 volts. This is a minus 12, and it looks spot on. And this is 5. There's 11 coming in here. Oh. Shorted that out. So 5, 21. Looks about right, don't you think? So these, these power rails are actually not too bad. I could hook up the scope and measure the ripple, but the unit is actually working just fine. It's just the the transformer, the external transformer that crept out on me. So what else do we got? Oh, it's safe to use a, a two-way jack power connector. There's, as far as I can tell, no leakage of the capacitors. Doesn't mean they're not bad. But if there's leakage, they're really bad. I still don't understand why the transformer gave up. Is it because of old age? I believe there's some paper stuff inside these things. It may be after several years, just just cuts out on you. How does it work? It should fix it for a few more years. And I'm actually gonna try something new. Especially uh, on the bottom side, this is the top side. I'm gonna do two quick screws now. And I found some cheap Loctite clone from China. And I actually want to use it to secure the screws on the bottom because I have to tighten the screws every time I play live. They do, they just vibrate out of there. I think I play some bass heavy music, pumping bass heavy music. This is the stuff. Best ever. It's medium strength, so um, you can unscrew it if you want. It's not permanent. It's, it's a red bottle, but the stuff is actually blue. And, well, like I said, this is the first time.
believe this is not even open yet. Maybe that's why it's not coming out. There we go. Smells, um, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know what this smells like. Like, like a swimming pool? Chloric? Turn on some uh, final check before I take it back into the rack. I want to know the preset. Yeah. The latest of the reverbs. 29. The only downside is I went from. <laughs> this is now my new PC adapter, and before I had this. So. Yeah. This is probably overkill but okay as long as it works right thanks for watching